Hello everyone. Something a little bit different today. This time I'm playing the demo to A Rising Bond, what is supposed to be a third-person adventure game with survival and stealth mechanics about a boy and a girl living in a war-torn Eastern European city, which I don't think is ever specified. Uh, so yeah, no horror this time, but I thought I'd check it out because it looks interesting, so hope you enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's begin with a new game. Yeah, let's play. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end, alright? Maybe I shouldn't have said no horror. I should have said a different kind. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm actually playing with an Xbox controller, not a PS3 or 4 controller, but uh, find a way to heal you. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, okay, so let's see, what can I do? Victims. The rawness of war, number one. Okay, it's true that heroes and champions are carved out in wars, However, wars cause suffering and sacrifices as well. The girl in the picture remains calm, unaware of the conflict that in just a few months will end peace. Wars don't begin with the first bomb, but with the first casualty. Okay, I think this is going to be a game that tries to tug at our heartstrings, uh, as it probably should. 1949, I think that's the date. So I guess this is uh, maybe set in the 50s now. Right, so let's see. Through here? Yep. So it's giving me the uh, the PlayStation controls, but I'll have to you know figure it out for myself, I suppose. Oh, hang on. What we got in here? Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Uh, this way. Oh yeah. Hang on. Scotch tape. Uh, I don't have that button. <laughs> oh, okay. It's that one apparently. Uh, sure. So. Alex, that's the boy's name. Okay, I can make med kits, bandages, pills, and there's different kinds of foods as well, but, uh... Okay. And he's got some materials for, uh, creating supplies. There's some sort of crafting as well. Okay, well, this is a, a very ambitious game, it looks like. Uh, okay. Looks like I can craft a med kit at the very least, so... Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, back to full health. Although it looks like my food is actually going down now, so that's not great, is it? Um, okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Plays pretty well. Uh, is that the girl, or...? Huh, hang on. Is she okay? Is she dead? Huh, illness. Uh, the lack of drugs and painkillers happens just a few days after the conflict began. The little ones are the first to suffer the consequences of food shortage and consumption of non-potable water. Um, adults who live in this house might seek for new drugs in order to ease the pain of the little ones. Right. Okay. One of her drawings down there. I, uh, I think I'm just going to have to leave her to it. I don't know if she's dead or alive, frankly, but... Yeah, I am getting hungry. Can we... Oh, yeah. Can we check the fridge? Okay. Looks like what? Vegetables. Okay. One of three. What's this? Oh, a carrot on the floor. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have to pick through the scraps, I suppose. Let's come to that. So... Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah. It barely feeds. It feeds a bit. <laughs> uh, two bars. Vegetables. Is that good? Oh, it's only one bar, but okay. Right, uh, through here? Alex will be cold when his- okay, there's body temperature as well. Yeah, this is very ambitious. Okay. Oh, you can see it going up when I'm next to the, uh, the barrel fire there. What's this? Got some alcohol, okay. And there's also a mask. Dehumanization. Enemies' dehumanization is nothing new. It's a self-defense mechanism. A way to get rid of moral implications and to justify causing other people pain. RAU Empire compels frontline soldiers to put these masks on. Perhaps in order to scare people or to pretend not to be human beings. Right, so I think this game's story is about a fictional conflict, but I'm sure the game is inspired by real-life events. There's some people over there running. Can I run? Is that a- oh, there you go. As it turns out, yes, yes I can. A new diary entry, let's see. 
Okay, uh, that's quite a lot to go through. Okay, so 1951, right. Um, today was an unforgettable day. After several weeks begging Dad, he's finally taken us to the mountain. A lot of time without spending time together. Now that he has left his post at the factory, I hope we have more moments like that for a long time. Okay, I'm noticing that my health is probably going to go down as I'm reading this, so... Get a good glimpse of that. Pause the video if you need to. I'll have a look at this later. If anything new comes up, I'll have a look. But, uh, okay, so there's glossary, inventory, kitchen... Upgrades, oh, neat. Alright. Yeah, this, uh... This is showing some potential. Right. So, this is where the stealth mechanic comes in, it looks like. Okay, so can I go under that? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Brutal. Okay, so yeah, I don't I don't really want to be here, but maybe I can sneak by. Great. Probably. <laughs> Did I really want to come up here? What have we got? Anything? Oh, maybe. What's that? Cloth. Oh, some crafting materials, I suppose. Not food. I think I'm really after food. Speaking of which, I should probably eat some veggies. Only two bars there, but still. Okay, I can interact with the generator. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Did I, oh, I have to do it here. Ah, right, okay, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> probably should have expected that. Are they, okay, they are coming this way, I think, yep. Alright. doing? Oh boy. Wow, 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 wow. He nearly saw me. To be honest, I thought he was going to like sit down there and try and fix the thing. Yeah, brutal. Man, okay. Uh, was it just a carrot? I think it might have just been a carrot, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else here. Alright, time to time to get out of here. Okay. Man, the food situation's really, really bad, isn't it? Oh wait, okay. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna very quickly look at the diary, this last entry. I just saw a soldier killing a civilian. I can't stand the helplessness of not being able to do anything. I was very afraid. I'm sorry, but really, I need to eat. see more RAU down there on the street. Searchlights as well. Oh. Alright. Oh, look at those guys sneaking around. Well, they seem to be doing pretty well. Alright, well, I, I suppose I'll have to uh, try and follow them. Oh. Right, another kitchen. Oh, another carrot as well. There you go. Okay. Things are looking up. <laughs> Slightly up, anyway. This way? Okay. Uh, the soldiers took a group of prisoners away in front of my eyes. I do not know what to do. I'm alone. I'm afraid. I'm hungry. I'm cold. The mother and the girl I saw before have taken advantage of that moment to reach the end of the street without being seen. It seems they know where they're going. Should I follow them? Have you really got a choice? Okay, so can I just sneak on by without you seeing me? Yep, looks like it. Can you crawl over this or wait, what's that? Oh, a bandage. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully I'll never need to use that, but I need to find some more food. Hey! There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect timing. All right. Oh, this is the kitchen thing. Okay, so that I can make a, a simple cooked dish. Lacking the can there, but... 
Uh, yeah, dish one. Looks like I can make that. And I ate it automatically. That's nice. Okay, well, back up to full health, pretty much. Uh, is it a dead end? Aside from this, it looks like a dead end. Okay. Right, looks like I'm going to have to go towards that guy. So can I... Oh, I can sort of, like, quickly crouch. My heart rate does go up. I don't know if that's because of the stamina, or if that was because I was nearly seen. Quickly, 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 quickly! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Alright, yeah, feeling good. Where are we going? This way? Up ahead? Don't know. Ah, there is a way in. Yeah, I quite like this so far. That? Okay, we've got some wool now. Something there. Okay, a syringe. Oh, penicillin, right. I guess maybe I could make some uh, advanced medicines or something at some point. What's this? No. Oh, well, rawness of war, power. Human beings are the responsible for wars. Their desire to go to war is because they crave for power. If we corrupt ourselves as RAU did and we follow our war's desires, we will end up convincing ourselves that the idea of eradicate will bring us peace as well. Alright. Let's check upstairs. Maybe I'm going to find some more food. I get hungry real quick. Like, maybe too quick. Okay, there you go. Can of meat. Maybe I'll save that until I'm on, like, one bar or, or less. What's in here? Cloth? Okay. That's two of three. I guess if I find, you know, two more, I won't be able to pick them up. Thread. Something there, too. There you go. Yeah, I'm full on cloth now. What's that? Leather. Right, cool. Is that it? Oh, man, I need to eat. Oh! Upgrades. Right. Yes. Ah! I can resist hunger by 30%. Resist the cold by 30%. That's cool. Alright, well... Resist hunger. I think it's, it's got to be done, right? Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm still going to need to eat, though, unfortunately. That is always a bit of a predicament with everyone. <laughs> uh, veggies, can of meat... It says feed enough. Let's try that. Three bars. Okay. I was wondering if maybe I should save it and, and go and cook it somewhere, but I don't know when I'm next going to find a cooking pot, you know, so... Um, right, so through here. And across the street, maybe? Probably shouldn't be walking around like this. I'm going to get back problems, but <laughs> it feels like the safest thing to do. What about here? Okay, yeah, might be something in the cupboard. Anna and Ivan, I guess, used to stay here. Looks like they're gone now. But I can have a look at the drawing. Okay. The key. Train. The key to the train to the turtle. Okay. That makes complete sense, Ivan. Thank you. Alright, keep it going. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's stand up. <laughs> Through here? Right? Maybe I can find something here? What's that? Hey! Medical supplies. A med kit. And some more thread, I think? Yeah, cool. Hopefully there's going to be something. Yeah, okay, we got some veggies. Or some vegetables. Oh boy. That sounds pretty bad. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I've got to eat. <laughs> feed a bit, feed a bit. Right, let's see. Do I want to get involved? I don't know if I've got a choice, really. I suppose I'm going to have to have a look. This way? Yep. Damn. 
just sort of bandits, thugs. Probably doing what I'm doing, just sort of scavenging, but kidnapping people as well. Oh, oh, okay. No sh oh, how the fuck? Oh. Triangle's at the top, right? No, that's not X. That is. <laughs> I'm using that controller, not the PlayStation controller. Okay. Oh, damn. Right. I'm going to uh, have a victory veggie, if you don't mind. <laughs> right, okay. I think the little girl that ran in there, I think I need to look after her. I guess this demo is just sort of introducing us. Oh, I've got a locked door. Uh, maybe I should find the train or something, according to Ivan. Duck tail of hair that just won't go down. There you go. Ah, I think she's meant to be called Erica. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, so that just... Yeah, I can, I can hold her hand with R1, it looks like. Alright, well, let's see. Um, I that is, That's Spanish, right? Uh, well, if you can decipher that, you're better than I am. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume it's like I met a girl, and I'm going to see if I can look after her. And look at this! Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so can we cook something? I don't have anything that... Uh, hmm. Also, now that I'm looking after her, does that mean I'm going to have to feed her as well? Oh, right. Oh, the train! Right, so hang on. Ah, there you go. Thanks, Ivan. Look at that key. Great. And that's going to be to the door over here. Okay, come with me. Yeah. Maybe we can find some food there. Kind of hope so. Okay, well, there's some medicine. Yeah, well, some alcohol. So, yeah, some medicine. Uh, this way? Wait. Uh, wait, right there. Oh, I didn't see the notes! I was just looking at the legs. Uh, yeah, I can't live in a world without you, Anna. Ivan, I'll join you very soon. Forgive me, God, for what I'm about to do. Many casualties lose any hope during wars. The destruction and the loss of human lives have an impact on their moral. Besides, they give up on their projects. Uh, a situation of despair results in early suicides. Right. Translation needs a little bit of work, but again, you know, you get the gist. Alright. So, let's see. Can we go this way? Oh, look. Nice. More cloth. I suppose maybe I could uh, make something out of it. More leather. More uh, wool. That's right. Hey, is that more meat? Yeah? Can of meat. I'm going to need it. But yeah, I'm wondering if I have to share. Let's see, okay, yeah. Uh, I think it's a bit of a dead end, honestly, so let's go back. Right. <laughs> You're going to hold my hand while I eat, and if you eat, that's great. Hmm. Maybe I could feed her around the cooking pot. I don't know. Maybe she just takes care of herself. Right. This way? Oh, locked. Oh. Oh. If only I had a little friend that might be able to fit through there, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright. You do you. Hey, look at that. Not bad, right? Oh, is that it? Oh, well, there you go. That was just a short little look at the gameplay mechanics, really, of a rising bond. Uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed that demo. It 
could use some optimization. There's a few sort of stuttering FPS issues, and the translation needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. But yeah, I like the way it looks, the way it sounds, the music especially. I like the sort of opening cutscene that we're seeing again. Um, I like how ambitious it is with the gameplay mechanics as well. And I'm kind of intrigued as to how hard it's going to be to get by. I mean, I was just looking after myself, and I was only just just surviving, so looking after her as well, that's going to be a challenge. But uh, yeah, I think this is one I'm going to keep an eye on. I don't know if you'll see this again on my channel, but uh, let me know what you thought, alright? Thanks for watching, see you next time. Uh, I don't have that button. <laughs> Alex will be cold when he's... Okay, there's body temperature as well. Yeah, this is very ambitious. Yeah, this... Uh... Great. Probably. <laughs> Did I really want to come up here? Quickly, 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 quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm still going to need to eat, though, unfortunately. That is always a bit of a predicament with everyone. <laughs> Triangle's at the top, right? No, that's not X!